I am Dr. Peggy Taylor. I'm from originally from Rochester, New York. I've been here at Nanakote Chiropractic now for about four to five months. I began back in February. I have been a chiropractor for about 22 years, most recently practicing in Salisbury before coming to Nanakote Chiropractic. Alrighty, hello, I'm Brenna and I'm here with Dr. Peggy. I'm just gonna ask her a few questions about chiropractic. Um, so why did you choose chiropractic as a career path? Well, I always knew I wanted to do something medical. Um, when I went to college, I started off as pre-med. I had a brother born with a neurological condition and was always directed somewhere towards medicine. Um, while I was going to college, I had worked in a hospital and I had lifted a patient incorrectly and had hurt my back. Um, I had spent, I went through an orthopedist and physical therapist at first and was on muscle relaxers and pain pills for about six months and then decided something else had to change, that I was only 20 years old and needed my back to feel better. So I had decided to go to a chiropractor. Um, I went to that chiropractor and within a couple weeks, I would say I was feeling probably 80% better. Since you are have been a patient yourself and understand what it's like to get adjusted, what would you tell a new patient that has never been adjusted and has some fear, anxiety about adjustments, especially neck adjustments? Okay. So adjustments generally are very light. Um, you hear a little popping noise with it typically, like cracking the knuckles. All that is, is there's a nitrogen buildup that occurs in every single joint capsule. And every 20 minutes or so, when you extend the capsule um, past what it's called the elastic barrier, you hear a little pop. So that's what people get afraid of, is that cracking sound in their ears. Um, pretty much, I think a lot of the fear comes from a lot of the old Kung Fu type movies where people are grabbing the neck and, um, Typically, that takes like over 400 pounds of pressure to actually snap a neck like that. <laughs> and in chiropractic, we use about 15 pounds of pressure. So it's completely different, uh, different thing. A lot of people are concerned about with pregnant women and with children, is chiropractic safe? Is it recommended? So chiropractic is definitely re uh, recommended for my pregnant patients. Um, one thing that happens during pregnancy is the sacroiliac joints become very mobile um, from the hormones being re released. So typically they get a lot of SI dysfunction with sciatic pain going down the leg. So what we do is we um, evaluate the pelvis and so forth and adjust them throughout the pregnancy. And many times it keeps them very comfortable throughout. Have you ever worked on animals or? Yes, so I've worked on both, well, babies and animals. <laughs> so babies respond wonderfully to chiropractic. Um, there's three things that I've seen consistently work for little ones, and that is for ear infections, for colic, and for ADHD. So first of all, with ear infections, on an infant, their ear canals come completely parallel to the ground. In an adult, they're angled downwards, so our ears drain. And sometimes a little kid, the reason they get so many ear infections is because their canals are pointing like this. So by adjusting the first and second vertebra, it helps to release the pressure in those canals and helps the ears drain, reducing the number of ear infections. Um, as far as colic is concerned, a lot of times little babies have a lot of stomach gas and in their mid spines, they'll have little restrictions. And basically by doing a very gentle adjustment, which is almost like a tap, um, it helps release that area and helps their digestion. So oh, as for dogs, <laughs> so I had, um, one of my first experiences was with a little toy poodle puppy. Um, he was dragging his head on the ground and couldn't lift it up. And I was working in Virginia at the time and the patient brought the puppy over to my house. I worked on his neck for a couple of visits and he lived 17 years after that completely healthy. So. Do you recommend laser therapy to our patients? Um, why do you do that? What does the laser do? Okay, so we, we offer a therapy here called the K-Laser. And what it does is it's a certain type of light therapy 
that what it does is this, it stimulates the cells to um, increase anti-inflammatory properties, kind of pumping the fluid out of the area, the inflammation out of the area. It also helps break up scar tissue and promote healing of normal tissue. So the laser therapy is great in a couple ways. It also reduces pain, inflammation, and promotes normal um, tissue growth. So what are some of your favorite adjustments and conditions you commonly treat? Some common conditions we treat are headaches, neck pain, mid-back, low back pain, sciatica, pretty much any type of joint pain, shoulders, hips, ankles, and so forth. Um, we also treat some, I guess you would call it organic issues as well. One thing that I see a lot of are people with um, esophageal reflux. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of times, like we were talking about colic with the baby, a lot of times there's tension in the mid-back, which causes an increase in acid production. So those are some of the more, kind of the more interesting things that we'll see once in a while. Yeah. So. Wow. Okay, so lastly, you're new here at Nanako Chiropractic, and um, we'd just like to know why you choose Nanako Chiropractic and why you suggest patients choose Nanako. So I like Nanako Chiropractic. Everybody here is very kind and um, has a lot of compassion, I would say, for the patients coming in, and I really, I really admire that. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, thank you for this interview. Thank you for introducing yourself to our patients, new ones, old ones, and we hope to see you. Bye. Have a good one. Enjoy our other videos. Look for stretches and more. Follow us on Facebook at Nanako Chiropractic Center.